In April, we told you about a new nonprofit uh, helping feed the needy and giving a vibrant food scene in the greater Portland area a fighting chance to be able to keep operating even during the pandemic. Cooking for community has grown from serving several hundred meals a week to several thousand, as well as providing some much needed cash flow to restaurants. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has the update. Inside the public market house, employees of Mr. Tuna are serving up a lot of sushi. The ready-to-eat meals are headed to My Place Teen Center in Westbrook. The Portland restaurant is one of 10 establishments in the greater Portland area, helping feed the less fortunate during the pandemic. Cooking for Community began as a way to provide several hundred hot meals after soup kitchens closed in the early days of COVID-19. That effort has grown from 450 to 2,200 meals weekly for nine different social service organizations, including the YMCA and Amistad. Mama Mo's, run by a single mother, is making batches of soup. Ellen Lennon Lowe, a community organizer, started the nonprofit. She is able to crank out um, 140 quarts of soup a week or soft food such as shepherd's pie to serve um, the residents of Bath Housing, which are all elderly um, and or disabled. For some eateries trying to stay afloat in an uncertain economy, the program has been a lifeline. Cooking for Community has raised more than $200,000, which is being used to pay restaurants to make and deliver meals. Ian Mallon is the owner of Little Giant, the West End restaurant, along with Cheval, were the first two restaurants to help launch the program. The nonprofit has allowed him to bring back seven employees to cook meals, as well as curbside takeout and delivery. Depending on how many meals we produce per week to be able to generate some cash flow to be able to um, pay for some of the things that PPP don't allow us to pay for under the rules. Mallon is still working on a plan for when restaurants are allowed to do in-person dining, which may include outdoor seating. He says the cash flow is giving him the flexibility to ensure a safe environment for his customers and staff. Cooking for Community has gone from a COVID crisis response to potentially expanding the program to the Brunswick Bath area, Lewiston, Auburn and the Lakes region. None of us imagined that the need would be extending for for you know, six to 12 months, if not longer. As the demand to help the less fortunate restaurants and the vendors that supply them continues, so does a mission to help restore lives in the long run. In Portland, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.